How's it going, Blazers? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. This is going to be a knife from We Knife Company. Uh, thank you for them for providing it to the Pastron Group and to the channel for checking it out. Uh, so this is going to be one uh, from uh, Justin Lundquist. Uh, he has a lot of the front flippers, uh, a lot of popular items out there. This is called the OSS Dagger, uh, Officer of Strategic Services. Uh, it was part of the World War II effort of uh, for the USA. Uh, so that's where that seems to come from. Uh, this one has different models. So green, orange, blue, black, uh, black, and black stonewash. The rest are regular stonewash. This one is stonewash blue. Uh, it has a kind of an interesting thing. Uh, so it actually is uh, one that uh, has a two part. Uh, so this is actually uh, the stonewash finish of the metal, uh, which actually happens to be M390. And then you do have uh, basically an insert, uh, which is this blue G10. So this is actually press fit um, into the handle. Uh, so this is where that little blue pops through there. So it just press fit. Uh, so that's actually a pretty neat uh, setup. So I like kind of that innovation of the design there. So this goes into the sheath here. Uh, so you have a few different ways to uh, carry it uh, that's on the table here. Really a very a light uh, item. So this is, comes out to 1.2 ounces with the sheath. Uh, and then that's gonna be basically for this channel. So that's gonna be uh, six quarters. And that's going to be what that is so pick that up if you have it and then you can see what this is in your hand as far as the weight uh, but that's going to be six quarters for that and then that's going to be uh, with this so 1.2 uh, ounces if you add this for the belt and carry 1.2 ounces or if you're going to do this then add 0.3 ounces uh, so that's going to be if you're going to do a neck knife i personally i've never gotten into neck knives i just like maybe if i'm going to wear it on the outside of my shirt uh, with a jacket over it, maybe, but I personally don't like it just like moving in my shirt and like hitting my chest and everything. I just, I would rather just have it in my pocket. So that's another option you could have. Drop it into the fifth pocket. This could be a way to carry that, drop it into a pocket in general. He actually does make um, a, uh, you see, a kind of a wallet. Uh, so um, that's actually where you can actually put in, I think he was going for five cards. Uh, so you would have basically this knife with the wallet, five cards that you're gonna carry with you, very minimalistic. Uh, so that's gonna be something that um, is direct through Justin. I don't know how far he's gotten into it, but I saw that on one of the videos. So that's a pretty uh, cool setup for that. If you wanna carry it in that fashion, have your cards, have your um, knife available with you uh, at most of the time for it. So that's a kind of a cool setup. So this is gonna be going for about 89.25. Again, that's M390 steel. Uh, M390 is about corrosion resistance. Uh, about 81 percentile, edge retention about 83 percentile. So that's going to be a really a good steal for you if you're going to be picking that up. Again, different factors in there, heat treats and whatnot. We Knife Company is pretty good at what they do for that. Uh, this one advertised about 59 to 61 Rockwell uh, for the blade steel. Uh, that's going to be how that works uh, for it. This one itself is going to be a little bit different for how you measure it. Because normally it's measured to basically the end of the handle. This one doesn't have a handle. Uh, so this is gonna be from basically this lowest point here um, all the way out to the tip. Uh, that's gonna be uh, 2.26 inches. And then from basically the end of this choil, uh, not a choil, but groove. There's some other things that leave in the comments as far as what that is. But that's gonna be uh, from here all the way to the tip. That's gonna be 2.06. And then the primary grain, this is where it gets kind of like, like I have to double check myself. Because normally I, I measure it with something like this, with a little laser on it, and then actually see uh, what the angle is. It wasn't reading it, so I was like, that's weird. So I was like, kind of looking at it, I was like, oh, that does look a little bit thick. This actually is going to be a chisel ground, uh, so it's flat on the back side, uh, if you see it there. So it is flat, so it just is um, uh, sharpened on one end, so basically the primary, and also that secondary bevel is just on one of the sides, uh, if you're going to sharpen it up. Uh, so this one actually comes out to be uh, for the primary bevel, uh, which is basically from the thickest point here, which is going to be a blade stock of 3.17 millimeters, all the way down to that secondary bevel, is going to be about 20 degrees. And normally 20 degrees is normally what the secondary bevel is, uh, but then this one has a secondary bevel uh, is going to be about 50 degrees. So it's um, it's high. Uh, so I've never come across a knife with that type or that degree of difference. I mean, so that's pretty much, let's just get this out for visual. 
So, so basically 20 degrees um, is the primary going from the blade stock uh, to uh, the sharpened edge. And then the actual sharpened edge, basically from the end of that to the sharp tip is going to be about 50. So that's where it's going to be quite a bit. Uh, so my kitchen knives are like three millimeters for a primary. Uh, so that's where uh, that's like down to like there. So it's a, it's, um, we'll get to that, uh, but that's, it's a lot. I mean, it's just more than I've ever come across uh, ever on a knife, but it's also for an OAS, OSS dagger. Well, then that's where it's going to actually probably uh, s succeed in what it's built for. So that's one thing about those things. Uh, so behind edge thickness on this one is going to be about, um, um, what was it, eight sheets of paper. So uh, get that out of your printer, pick that up. So about eight sheets of paper, that's about 30 thousandths uh, behind the edge uh, for this one here. And then blade stock I already talked about for that, but you have different mechanisms or different way you're gonna hold it. But this one is gonna be one, it actually, for being small, has that little thumb area. It actually does um, hold pretty well, pretty um, confidently, uh, where I'm not too concerned about it. But uh, the thing that I did find about it, so that's where we're getting to this side. So cutting and stabbing. Uh, so that's where it has two things, or puncturing. Not stabbing, I don't recommend stabbing, but puncturing is kind of where it's gonna be. So box, tape, knife. So cutting, yeah, it does cut. So cutting, it cuts it there. Uh, so that's what would be opening tape, being your letter opener on your desk or something. Uh, but once you get to cutting, uh, so cutting side, uh, so we're gonna be looking at this and then doing cutting. Not, not, not so good. Uh, so uh, cutting side, I'm, I'm, so just to make sure I'm not like having a indestructible box or something. Cutting. So cutting side, uh, a little bit difficult. Uh, so that's where I think if that's gonna be your primary, I wouldn't recommend it for that. But, uh, so OSS Dagger. Yeah, it does do daggery things. Uh, so that's where I think it would succeed in that, uh, do that very well. Uh, but that also kind of wraps it up, but this is gonna be how it looks for things. And we'll get that cleared off, but this is gonna be the size for it. Some other things I brought out, so the, the Minimalist, uh, that's gonna be this knife here. So kind of like going for uh, where it is for the sharpened edge on that. And then you're gonna have one of my newest favorites. I carry it on a belt loop. I don't neck knife this either. But this is gonna be the tailbone. So quite a bit bigger. Cutting length is a little bit smaller, but probably about the same, get us kind of bowed up there. And that's gonna be that one. That's a tailbone uh, from CRKT. And then you can have, just throwing it in there. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put that, but let's go all the way to the cutting edge. So that's going to be the Solaris. Uh, why is that Solaris on the table? Because that's the Orion Knives Solaris, which is my design and my company. Uh, so that's going to be on there like inevitably, unless I have a different design out. So that's going to be there. That's the sizes for that. Uh, so would I recommend it? Buy, bar, or avoid? Uh, I would say for this one, uh, for me, this would be one I personally would avoid. I I know that a lot goes work into it. I know there's a lot of design work. I know there's a lot of manufacturing, boxing, information. Everything goes into it. So I appreciate all those things, but I personally wouldn't use it. So going through all the specifications, if it's something that you really love and you want to pick up uh, and everything ticked the boxes for you, do that. It's worth the money. We Knife Company is a great company. They do great work. Uh, Justin does great work. So that is about all I have to say about that one today.